Well, hello. Welcome to Izzy's Tarot. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have gone anywhere, but you came to my channel. For that, I'm always grateful. Thank you so much. I'm going to do a Cancer Love Prediction reading for January 29th through February 4th. Please keep in mind, this is a general read if it's not your story. It's not your story. Don't try to make it your story. Just take what you can from it and leave the rest. Please know that this energy can go either way. It can be your energy, your significant other's energy, or someone else that's in your love space. Please keep that in mind as you watch and as you listen. If you enjoy my reading or if my reading resonates with you, please give me a subscription, a like, or join my channel. I will be most humble, honored, and grateful. Thank you in advance if you do. Let's see what's going on with my kind, loving, sweet, emotional, fun cancers. Show me spirit guides. What's going on with my cancers? Show me spirit guides. Let's see what's going on with cancers. Show me. King of Wands, the Emperor, Ace of Wands, uh -oh. Ace of Swords, huh, and the Three of Wands. Well, 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 Cancer. Whomever I'm reading for, you got stars in your eyes. This, <laughs> whoever this guy is, he's, I mean, I, you know, I hate to use this word, but I just see that you're totally turned out by him. When I say turned out, you're turned out, turned on, turned around, twizzled, every which way you want to think about this. This guy got you. He's got you. He's king of wands, too. He's charismatic. He's also, you look at him as being your husband. This dude got you. He got. He has your heart space. You are all emotionally tied to this man. Um, you see him as a king of wands, which is leading your reading. King of wands for me is someone that's charismatic that knows how to lead. Not only that, when I see the king of wands, I think husband. You see him as your husband. Right next to it, the thing is, he's an alpha male too. The emperor card came out. The emperor can can um represent an Aries sun sign. Please keep that in mind. But that does not necessarily mean the man is an Aries, but the emperor card also reckon re, uh, represents an airy sun sign so whoever this guy is he he's he can be a little bit of an egomaniac sometimes but you know how to calm that but he um he's a leader he's an alpha male and you see him as your husband now i'm going to keep reading to see what's going to happen here because this is someone that you are totally in love with not only that that ace of wands is in the middle of the reading you know my ace of wands means you guys have chemistry you guys get it in, right? I'm just, hey, just saying what I see and what I see. This Ace of Wands lets me know it's everything with this guy. I don't know what, what I don't know what the con is. I really don't. Yeah, we're going to keep reading and see if the spirit guides are going to show me something. But as far as I see this, this is someone that you're in love with, that has your heart, that you have chemistry with. You have great um, intimacy with him as well. The Ace of Swords is here, though. So when I see the Ace of Swords, it's all about a truth here. It's all about a truth, and I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit, I'm just going to be very honest, but I'm going to be very positive because the Ace of Swords, is, is, it represents clarity. It represents truth and clarity, and I think that's what you're seeking right now to see if he really is the real deal because right now you feel like he is, and you don't know what, it's almost, you, you, like I said, you've been twizzled, turned, you, I mean, you're turned. You're turned, your head is turned, and when I say turned, in a good way. You also see him as a future. You really see this man as your husband. I'm going to say it again. You see, you you have found your mate. That's how you see this. All in this reading is saying you found your mate. Chemistry, great intimacy. He's a leader. He, he knows how to lead. He's an alpha male, which you enjoy. Um, and you see him as, as your future. Let's see here. I'm going to say, I'm going to clarify the reading and see what the spirit guides are going to tell us. I'm going to clarify the reading just to see if I can get some additional information on who this man is, who this this wonderful man is to you, this loving man is to you. This man has got you turned every which way but the right way. No, I'm just saying, Cancer, please, I'm, I'm having fun. But I'm just saying, you are turned out by him, though. You are. So let's see why this King of Wands is here. Shall we sit back, relax, let me clarify the reading. I'm going to clarify the reading to see if I can get some additional information of who this gentleman is, who this man is, who your, your future husband is, because that's what you see him as. Let's see. Why is this King of Wands here? Show me. 
Show me cancers. Why is this the king of wands here? Oh, I've got the five of wands. The five of wands. There is some conflict that's going on with you and him. And I think the conflict is only because he can, especially with the emperor card being here, he can be some, some he can be an alpha male. I think there's some conflicts and some, maybe some um, disagreements going on because um, he can be an alpha male. He can be very controlling sometimes. And I think sometimes you just have to put him back on, on, on space. You got to put him back on right. And you know, that's kind of difficult to do when you love someone the way you love him. But there is some conflict. Let's see what additional information the spirit guys are going to show me about this conflict that is going on. But when I see the five of wands here, I just think there's been some disagreements about how things, how you want things, how he wants things. But I also think that when I see the five of wands, I never want to be in, this is just me. And I, I'm just speaking off, off cuff here, but... I never want to be in a relationship with someone when, when I agree with everything that they do because I would be bored. And I see when that five of wands is there, I see this as someone that you wouldn't be bored with because you're able to say no. You're able to say no to him. He, he, he puts challenges in front of you that allows you to be able to say no and to be able to think and know what you want. I think that's important, especially when you're as twisted as you are over him. That's important that you still have your, your peace of mind and also your say. Your, you know, you have your words. You know what you want. Keep yourself, to, a piece of yourself. Always keep a piece of yourself. So let's see why the Emperor card is here. Show me spirit, guys. Why is the Emperor card here for my can cancer? Show me spirit, guys. Page of Pentacles. Faithfulness, man, man. Being faithful. Being faithful to each other. I think also he may have had a problem or you may have had a problem with people being faithful to you. But that Page of Pentacles excuse me, lets me know that he is going to be faithful to you. This man is faithful to you. Understand that. He's going to be faithful to you. I think that might be where the disagreements have come in too because um, there may be a little bit of mistrust or trust issues that have been in the past. I don't even think it's on, I think it's on his side more than your side though. I think he may have gone through some storms with someone and sometimes there's some trust issues. That's why this control issue is here. But let's see why the Ace of Wands is here. Show me spirit guys. Why is this Ace of Wands here? Show me, Spirit, guys. Show me why the Ace of Wands is here. Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords. Now, the Queen of Swords, you know, I said he, it was it was him that had the trust issues. I'm going to be very honest. Now that I see the Queen of Swords here, this may have been you that this has had these trust issues because Queen of Swords is all about she wants things her way. This is the way it has to be. Um, there's no gray matter with the Queen of Swords. She's very, very um, matter of fact. It has to be her way. Now, it's over this Ace of Wands. And the Ace of Wands is, all, is about great intimacy, great chemistry. It's over the Ace of Wands. But this Queen of Swords here, this Queen of Swords is, it could be you because you might have gone through some things. I just said trust. That's what I saw. Spirit guys are saying. There might be some trust issues. But the Queen of Swords um, is definitely an energy. Sometimes she can be a little bit of a bitter Annie. I'm just saying, be a little bitter. Please don't be bitter because every time you try that though, and I'm <laughs> this is what I see every time. Every time that emotion comes out, that that you know whatever you haven't, you know how you feel about things comes out. When every time that comes out here, I see this Ace of Wands. The chemistry is there and the intimacy comes back. So whenever, hey, he knows what to do to get you right back on track. Hey, I'm just telling you what I see. He knows exactly what to do to get you right back on track. He knows how to love on you. He knows how to give you intimacy. He knows what to do because you guys have incredible uh, chemistry with each other as well. So let's see why this Ace of Swords is here. Show me spirit, guys. Why is the Ace of Swords here? I think you question him too. It's you. You question him. That's why the fights are coming up. It's the trust is you. He's telling you to chill out. Hey, I, I'm going to be faithful. You've had problems with trust. But he's the real deal. So let's see. Why is the Ace of Swords here? Show me spirit, guys. See? Six of Pentacles. You know this. It's over the Ace of Swords, the truth card, the clarity card. He shows you every time. He shows up for you every time. He shows you his kindness, his generosity. That Six of Pentacles, this is a balanced relationship. You guys can can be, can talk about anything. You can you love on him. He loves on you. This is a balanced relationship. He's showing you that this is a give and take. He gives to you, you give to him. This is this is a very, very good relationship. Let your walls down. Don't be bitter. Accept your love. 
So let's see why the Three of Wands is here. Show me spirit, guys. Why is the Three of Wands here? Ace of Cups. Yes, yes, yes. Nothing but love, agape love, God-given love. Uh, in love, in love, in love, in love, 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 love. That's all I can say. Um, this is also when you see the Ace of Cups, it's a forgiving love. It is love as the highest. The Ace of Cups, and you see him as your, with over the Three of Wands, as your significant other, uh, as your future. Let's start at the beginning. King of Wands. There are some conflicts here. Yeah, there's some conflicts. I thought it was him, but I think it's you, Cancer, the reason the conflicts are here. He is, you see him as husband. He sees you as his wifey. Here's the Emperor card that's here. No, he could be an Aries because the Emperor does represent an Aries sun sign, but it can be anyone. Regardless, the Emperor likes to control. The Emperor likes to control, and he is an alpha male. He is a controlling male, but he's letting you know he's a page of pentacles. You can trust him. He's going to be faithful to you. He's going to be there for you. He is letting you know that. But you've had some trust issues in the past. Do not let these trust issues take you away from this gift. You've had some trust issues in the past, and you're a little bitter. You keep a wall up sometimes because of the trust issues. You put him through changes and make him jump through hoops sometimes because of your trust issues. That queen of swords there, you can be a little bitter. You know you you, you know what I'm saying. You can be a little bit of an itch sometimes. You understand. But you got to let the wall down because you have to trust him because this page of pentacles is here, which means he's going to be here. He's faithful. He wants you to know that. That's why these disagreements are here. But here's this ace of swords. <laughs> ace of swords is about clarity. It's about clarity. You and, and what, what the universe is doing is showing you every time you tend to show out or tend to, you know, let that uh your insecurities and a doubt and mistrust come in, every time he knows his intimacy. Look at over this ace of wands. You guys have great chemistry. You have great intimacy. He knows how to put you right back on track. And here's that six of pentacles, like I said, it's love, love, generosity. He's that dude. Then I see the Three of Wands is at the end of this reading. That Three of Wands is all about a future, and that Ace of Cups just seals the deal for me. For me, excuse me. It just seals the deal. Ace of Cups is love, 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 love. He's in love with you. You're in love with him. Don't let your insecurities and your mistrust take this relationship away from you. Accept the love. Accept the love. Now, give me. Let me see what my oracles have to say. Show me. Whoa, you know. I'm going to pull this. This came out straight out first. And I, I really believe this says meditation brings answers, which is prayer works. Prayer works. Absolutely. And let me see what else the spirit guides and the oracles have to say. Oh, trust. I told you, trust this man. Trust this man. He is there for you. He is going to be there for you. He is a good person. He is your person. He is your happily ever after um, and you are in love with him. He's in love with you. And he's faithful. He's kind. He's generous. And the oracles say yes. <laughs> what can I say? This is a, a beautiful read for you. That's what I have for you, Cancer, for your love prediction reading.